Good day there. Um, on my little YouTube channel, I've done a few recordings uh, of poetry. Poetry I've found, poetry I've long known, which I find interesting and I love and adore and, and has particular qualities by poets who themselves um, are outstanding or not very well known or very well known, doesn't really matter. But I realised one thing lacking in those videos is the um, the one-to-one -one contact with the actual speaker. I'd been recording using microphone, um, but now I, I think actually it'd be much better if I recount, recite poetry, uh, you know, on on camera. Uh, the poem I'm going to recite to today. It's one I've already recorded um, for my U my little YouTube channel, and it's uh, a subaltern's love song uh, by John Betjeman. This is my copy of not his complete comple uh, collected poems, but just a book that came out in the fifties, um, cataloging some of his recent poems. Um, I didn't discover this poem in this book, but. Um, I can't remember how I came across it, but I absolutely adore it because it goes through that 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 moment of meeting someone that you really like all the way quite quickly in a very beautifully described scene uh, to engagement and what thereafter happens. Anyway, I'm gonna I know the poem off by heart, but in front of the camera I don't know if I be able to recite it by heart. So it's one of those things, you know, you say, oh, I know this poem off a heart. And then when you're talking to someone who likes poetry and then you say, oh, God, can you recite it? And you and you start to recite it and then suddenly you catch your tongue and, and you can't get there. And uh, it's funny, even in front of the camera, I, I feel slightly nervous, but um, I hope to get it right. So here goes. A Subaltern's Love Song by John Betjeman. Miss J. Hunter Dunn, Miss J. Hunter Dunn, Furnished and burnished by Aldershot's son, What strenuous singles we played after tea, We in the tournament, you against me. Love thirty, love forty, O weakness of joy, The speed of a swallow, the grace of a boy, With carefulness, carelessness, gaily you won, Mine weak from your loveliness, Joan Hunter Dunn. Miss Joan Hunter Dunn, Miss Joan Hunter Dunn, how mad am I, sad am I, glad that you won. The warm handled racket is back in its press, but my shock headed Victor, she loves me no less. Her father's Euonymus shines as we walk and swing past the summer house buried in talk, and cool is the veranda that welcomes us in to the six o'clock news and the lion juice and gin. The scent of the conifers, the sound of the bath, the view from my window of moss-dappled path, as I struggle with double-end evening tie, for we dance at a golf club, my Victor and I. On the floor of her bedroom lie blazer and shorts, and the cream-coloured walls are betrophied with sports. And westering, questioning, settles the sun on your low-leaded window, Miss Joan Hunter Dunn. The hillman is waiting, the lights in the hall, the pictures of Egypt are bright on the wall. My sweet, I'm standing by the oak stair, and there on the landings the light on your hair. By roads not adopted, by woodlanded ways, she drove to the club in the late summer haze. Into nine o'clock Camberley, heavy with bells, and mushroomy, pinewoody, evergreen smells. Miss Joan Hunter Dunn, Miss Joan Hunter Dunn, I can hear from the car park the dance has begun. O oh, full Surrey twilight, importunate band, O oh, strongly adorable tennis girl's hand. Around us are rovers and Austin's afar, above us the intimate roof of the car. And here on my right is the girl of my choice, with the tilt of her nose and the chime of her voice and the smell, scent of her rap, and the words never said, and the ominous, ominous dancing ahead. We stayed in the car till twenty to one, and now I'm engaged to Miss Joan Hunter Dunn. 
Lovely, isn't it?